Do you know any real estate agents, old friend? Is this another joke about my boring social life? Ooh. Nothing was further from my mind, old chum. Although I will make a note of it for later. I just need the services of a good realtor. Have you tried the internet? Every time I try to get to a website, I end up with a page full of pornographic images. Oops. Two and a half million porno websites out there, and every single person who ever ends up at one did so accidentally. Alright, I'll come over and do it for you. Do you really think now is a good time to play Corridor Shooter 2000? For your information, I'm looking up commercial real estate agents. Now I feel like an ass. You look like one too. That synergizes very well with how you look in that costume. Oh. Find anything? There's only one that deals in the sort of high-end commercial properties you'd want for a crime cave. Does it have to be commercial? Unless you plan on getting the Patriot Mobile up a narrow stairwell to the third floor of a brownstone in Spanish Harlem, yes. Yes, it does. I should give them a call. Yeah, I'll write the details down on one of these sticky notes. Here you go. Huddle time. You know, these huddles were. Yeah, I know. As. I need to find a used car salesman urgently, old friend. I know it's relaxing to pound on a used car salesman when you're super stressed, but it's very much frowned upon in certain social circles. No, I actually need to buy a car from someone. You're gonna try to buy a superhero vehicle from a used car salesman? I have horrible visions of you tootling around town in a pimped out Prius with a chrome spoiler and mag wheels. That actually sounds Not awesome. Not at all, old chum. I want to do this properly. Well, you could try the internet. I guess there might be someone who resells high-end custom cars. Hang on, I'll come and help you. Perhaps you could lead a raid in World of Warcraft when we don't have more pressing concerns? Dude, you're being an ass. As it happens, I'm just looking to see if I can find any specialist auto shops where they build high-end custom cars. Oh. Gee, I wish I hadn't been a jerk about it now. Good. You shouldn't have been. Why should this be any different? Find anything? How do you feel about pink Cadillacs? Nauseous. It would go well with There's the a place out in Bedford Hills that might do the sort of thing you need. Bedford Hills? Isn't there anywhere closer? Shut, shut and pray auto Dude, you can fly! Right! I keep forgetting that. Okay. I'll write down the number for you. Here. I can be- uh, Yeah, that's not actually a mobile, mate. It doesn't have- It's a cordless phone. So it is a mobile phone! No, it isn't. Sure, mate. It's a mobile phone that stops working as soon as you get out of the apartment. Aha! So... Better reception than I get with Swift? Like you can use my mobile if you like. I'll add it to the inventory. Breaking the fourth wall again. It's my mobile phone. It has a 20 megapixel camera, fingerprint scanner, heart rate monitor, a 3D screen, and I think it's possible to make phone calls with it. It contains contact details for reel em, sell it, and run. Realtors, Mel found them for me. Okay. I can be very helpful when I like. <laughs> it's my...
I'll call the real estate agent to see if they have any properties which would be suitable as a crime cave. Sounds like a plan. Perhaps don't use the word crime cave in the conversation. Tell them you need somewhere to run a data center, and it needs to be underground for temperature control purposes. Good thinking. Okay. Do you have any commercial properties suitable for a data center? Underground would be ideal so that we can keep the computers cool. Well, security is a big concern for us, so we were hoping for somewhere far from civilization. No, not that far from civilization. Ooh. What did he suggest? New Jersey. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I don't blame Servers? Him. Mainframes? What the hell are you talking about? Data center, remember? Oh, right, right! Servers and mainframes, yes. Um, about 60,000 of them. Too many! On second thought, maybe just three. We'll start small and build our way up. Okay. He didn't have anything. You do surprise me. I'll call that auto shop to see if they can put together a Patriot mobile for me. Remember to ask for back seats. Superhero vehicles never have back seats in them. And frankly, what's the point of spending all that money on a high-tech car if you can't use it to pull birds? Am I right? True. Melvin, the Patriot mobile is in many ways the public face of the purple Patriot. I can't have that image sullied by having you plastered all over the tabloids with cheap floozies. Fair enough. I wouldn't want to sully the Purple Patriot name. Frankly, I wasn't even aware it was possible to sully the Purple Patriot name. Good day, shopkeep. I am in the market for a fine automobile. Well, I'm looking for something capable of waging war on the streets of New York. It needs to be able to withstand a small nuclear explosion, yet still be capable of maiming anyone who dares incur my wrath. On the other hand, I want something that feels dangerous. Something that makes me feel like every moment could be my last moment on Earth. It needs to be so big that it blocks out the sun, and it should make me feel like a god of the road, crushing all who oppose me. Oh, I'm down for no, I like that. don't think that would do much for my image. What did he suggest? An SUV. No, I'm looking for something custom made, really. Do you think you could create something awe inspiring for me? I see. Well, thank you anyway. Good day. Yes. Why can't I help? Apparently, they already have as many custom jobs as the garage can handle. They've just signed a contract to keep Amanda Bynes in new cars. Ooh. Okay. Kyle loves grape soda. That sounds familiar, yet not quite right. I should take it with me in case of emergencies. Who the hell has a soda-related emergency? Two words. New Coke. Good point. Yeah, I should take this with me, really. You never know when I might need to throw it at a nerd. Pick up that cube and I delete your entire set of Kate and Ally wallpapers from the laptop. I guess it's fine where it is. Yeah, yeah. Let's take our uh, flag and we'll use it as key. I don't really want to take the flag no. with me. Besides, it appears to be stuck in one corner. What do you mean, stuck? I don't know. Hey, what do you know? I taped my passport to the back of the flag with gaffer tape. I cannot believe how literal you've become since you... changed. I'm never going to ask you for a knob of butter as long as I live. Okay. 
Don't open it. The world is not oh, ready for the contents of your underwear shit. drawer. I was honestly expecting to see spirits escaping. I suppose this camera's worth taking. I've played this game before. There's no batteries in it. Hmm. No, actually, it's fully charged. Awesome. Blimey, another cliche successfully avoided. I can't get changed without transforming back into Kyle. Oh. Plus, you have a dozen identical pairs of track pants. There's no point in changing. Okay. It's stuck again. I've never known anyone with more of a knack for getting locks jammed than you. At least this time, I'm on the outside of it. Good point. Definitely. Too bloody right. That night I spent feeding you chili con carne through the closet keyhole has to go down as one of the messiest nights of my life. In hindsight, it probably wasn't the wisest meal to eat when you have a locked door between you and the bathroom. That, yeah. Can we take it? It came with the apartment. I don't want to upset the super by moving it around. If he didn't kick us out when you installed a skylight in your bedroom, I don't think he's gonna start now. I still don't see why he was so upset about the skylight. I paid for it myself, and I had the job done by a professional tradesman. You do know why he was upset. The woman upstairs kept falling through the six foot hole in her bathroom floor. That would be enough. Okay. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time when we play some more.